but after, you know, we're outside of Philadelphia here. Many of you know that you're in this area, but some of you may not. And we experienced a snowstorm here, significant over the past couple of days, where we are in West Conshohocken. and I guess we got about um, 10 inches, 12 inches. And I thought I would just, you know, I kind of look around and try to stay aware of things. And, and I thought, what three things were I reminded of from this snowstorm? And the first one, I think, is really important, reminding me to do the work. You know, in life, with all of our goals and all of the, the visions that we have right now, we're only one month into this year. And many of us have grand visions for this year. I know I certainly have some bold ones. You got to do the work. And I was reminded of that when I shoveled out some yesterday and I shoveled out this morning. Now, my wife and I have downsized to a row home. So in our old house, we had a two-car garage, never got snow on it. You know, I'd have to do the, the driveway and the walkway and those things. But, um, you know, this morning I really had to dig out. And I had to dig out on a street where the plows come by and, and you know, they build that three, four-foot mound of snow. So I got up this morning and I, I kind of shoveled around the house a little bit, the front walk. And when you live in a row home now, I learned that you don't just shovel your little 15 feet or 18 feet, however wide the row home is. You shovel all five that are in the building, which I think was pretty cool. I did some yesterday and then my neighbor Dave was out yesterday or Pat was out last night. And then so I did it again this morning. So I think what's really important is, is do the work. And then I went out I came back and I parked in the same spot and when I went to leave again I had to dig out again because the plow had come by and kind of put that big old snow right there again so um, yeah do the work good results come from doing the work and in this case you know here's what I thought too I didn't do this but I've always seen I never lived in a row home before my grandparents did and I've certainly seen some in Norristown where I grew up um, but when people will dig out their space, then they put like a chair or somebody had like a six foot step ladder in there to kind of tell everybody, hey, listen, I did the work here. This is my space. And while I get like on a regular day, you know, when you're in a neighborhood, you might get the same parking spot or near it. And, uh, you know, that's OK. Here's what I've come to realize. When somebody breaks their ass to dig out a parking spot and then they put a placeholder there, you better respect that. Because if you don't, I would just offer you this. Karma, my friends, is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. So first thing is do the work. Second thing is be kind. I couldn't help but to notice as, as, I, as I walked around um, other people helping one another shovel. And I even did it a few times myself. So, so just kind of look around and be kind. I was coming back yesterday from, from an early morning workout and there was a guy walking along the street, younger guy, and um, you know the, the sidewalk wasn't um, shoveled and he kind of looked like, where am I gonna go here? And he was kind of in the street. And I was just heading home and I put the window down. Just I, I just said to him, hey, you need a ride somewhere, brother? And he looked at me like I had nine heads because I guess a lot of people don't do that. He also wanted to make sure that I wasn't a crazy person. And I'm not sometimes, but, but not here. And I said, yeah, I'll give you a ride. So he'd go to a coffee shop. And it's about four or five, five blocks up. So he jumped in, said hi. Uh, Matt, Danny, drove him to the coffee shop, told him to have a good day. Um, so just be kind. And then the uh, third thing that I was reminded of is that all storms end. They pass. This one came and it settled in on us for, you know, two or three days which doesn't happen a whole lot. We usually get hit in a day or so, and then it goes on. So it was just reminded me in life, you know, as I'm, I'm working on book number four, and it's, it's got a bunch of characters in there all with different challenges, is that, um, you know, the storms are going to pass. So do what you need to do to get through the storm, right? Maybe some prayer, maybe connecting with somebody in your support network. Maybe it's a little stillness time. Maybe it's vision seeing the other side if you're going through a crappy time. So just dropping in three things that this snowstorm reminded me of. Number one, do the work, right? And don't steal anybody's parking spots. You are not entitled to a parking spot that somebody else dug out. Number two, be kind always in snowstorms or rainstorms or sunny days. And number three, just press on and run the race, as St. Paul said, because all our storms in life, they do pass. So until next time, everybody, you be well.